A new color illustration from second year volume 11 was just released a month before the release of the volume. And you wouldn't have guessed this illustration even if you had like a hundred guesses. So what is it? Well, this is the illustration. Ainakoji Kiyotaka and Horikita Suzune are fighting? Well, saying that they're fighting would be an overstretch. Things can't change so much in a single volume, right? Yes, of course, just by looking at this illustration, we can learn a lot of things about this upcoming volumes and what might happen in it. So here are my thoughts and analysis of this illustration. This illustration is of Ayan Koji and Horikita seeming to be in a battle with each other. Horikita went for a punch but Ayan Koji calmly dodged it and is redirecting her from his hand. That's what this literally is but there are a lot of things we can infer from it. First thing that can be noticed is that they are wearing what you can call gym clothes or the uniform for PE activities. So it's not like a regular day at school which is kind of obvious but when you look at the environment you can see ground and trees around. Which tells us it's not their gym class either, they are not at the school because if it was a PE class of sort then there would be more students around and they won't be doing this. So well it's pretty easy to conclude that there is a special exam happening. Which one? Well they are around nature like they were in uninhabited island exam but it can't be that and judging from the time they have left in the semester there seems to be an exam that happened last year around this time in which they were around nature yes the mixed training camp it's highly possible that that's where they are but that raises a lot of question in itself are the rules different this time for the exam because last time girls and boys were not allowed to be together except in the cafeteria and if you ask me i think this could be nagumo's influence he did change a lot of things when it came to school's policy so yes it's possible that this time girls and boys are not separated strictly like they are separated when it comes to the living space but they can interact during the day freely throughout the camp and maybe even compete together. It is also possible that this mixed training camp is like totally different than the previous one and I mean so different that it could be considered a totally different exam. Maybe not all years compete together this time but knowing Nagumo they will. What I mean to say is that there might be a lot of things different this time around. And then comes the next question, what are they doing? Well looking at both of their expressions and that sweat drop, it looks like Horikita is being trained. What I mean is that from her perspective it's possible that she is just sparing a bit but from our perspective yeah that's definitely training, she can't give a fair fight to Ainakoji so that's what I think it will end up being. The next question, why are they doing so? So is it part of the special exam? Like is this some sort of activity this time now in the mixed training camp? I doubt that, I think that they might be doing it on their own. Like they snuck off somewhere to avoid the eyes of others and Horikita training arc started or something like that. Or maybe they just happened to be somewhere during a task and Ainakoji thought it might be a good time. Honestly it could be anything but let me know your thoughts as well. And I think this is going to be interesting. I mean this volume because we know Horikita has a snowball's chance in hell of touching Ainakoji even if it's a training. There's just no way she can even touch him. So kind of interesting where it will all lead to. Which marks the end of the things that I think we can infer from this illustration. So in short, our guesses are, a special exam is happening that is similar to mixed training camp. But this time around there's not a strict separation between boys and girls. And now that I say it, I wonder where's Kei at this point. Because if it's not strict separation, then wouldn't she want to be close to Ainakoji, fearing the almighty skills of Ichinos? And last thing that they are not seriously fighting but are somewhere away from the eyes of others and probably training. So that's it for this illustration but I'm excited to hear all your thoughts about it. Let me know in the comments down below what you all think and how excited you are. With that said, I will see you all in the next one.